everybody, and welcome to the channel. This is your host, Bobby Lou, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the 150Rs, the Hondas, uh, specifically the front forks. On a different episode, we'll cover the rear shock, but on this episode, we're just going to dial in the front forks. All right, let's dive in. So I've been around the motorcycle suspension world for quite some time. Uh, been around the mini world, uh, suspension world, just as long. And uh, it's definitely a, a cheaper option when it comes to having fun, training, owning your skills. But unfortunately, it's still a little bit pricey for some people, uh, probably most. Um, most tuners will charge anywhere between $750 to $1,100 for a full setup uh front and rear um it just all depends on the quality of parts being used like for instance we don't use uh all ball seals or any of that stuff um, we use quality stuff like nlk uh, which is uh the oem manufacturer of seals uh, we use quality inner and outer slide bushings and o-rings um, so there's a hefty price tag for those things but you pay for quality, but uh, also we use uh, the highest quality oil that I've ever used, the blood lubricants oil. It's the most stable oil out of anything, any other oil on the market. And I've been using them for going on five years now, and it's been great. Um, but anyways, so in terms of price, like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty expensive for most, but you also got to factor in shipping. Shipping, you know, I've got customers all over the country from Colorado to New York to Florida, everywhere. And shipping varies between $70 and $150. So that's why I'm doing my part. I'm giving everybody an option to learn how to do suspension themselves. I will provide the full rebuild kits, oil and dust seal, inner and outer slide bushings, O rings. Everything you need to properly overhaul the suspension. Revalve kits, springs, everything to accomplish the job yourself. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. It's a lot of information. So we'll start with the base valve. We'll remove that. Um, sometimes it can be a pain, so it's a good idea if it doesn't want to come out first. Um, use some heat, a lot of it, and use an impact, and uh, you should be able to get it out. So now you can lay out the cartridge, pull the spring buffer off, the nut, the clip, pull the rebound assembly out of the cartridge, and clean everything properly. Here's your base valve, compression piston, uh, grind the peening off. Just like that. Grind the peening off the rebound nut. Just like that. Loosen the nut. Pull the rebound assembly out. I like to use a thread chaser M6 1.0 to clean the threads so it's easy to get the new nut on. Also a step drill bit is nice to uh, add a chamfer to the low speed orifice. Do the same to the base valve. Now install the top hat on the rebound. Mid valve valving. Surface the piston on 600 grit sandpaper. Piston, make sure the orientation is correct. Just like that. There is a rebound stack. Just like that. And we're going to use the OEM spacers that came with it. Install those. Now we're going to use some Loctite. Install the nut. Assembly together. So now for the compression, install the OEM spacer first. The compression valving. Just like that. Surface the piston. 
Just like that. Install the piston. Install the top hat spring and check plate. Make sure that the check plate moves. There you go. Install the nut. I recommend polishing the stanchion. You can use Scotch Brite, 600 grit sandpaper. You can do it on a lathe. You can do it on a bench like this. Whatever you got. Uh, here's the full rebuild kit: oil, dust seals, uh, inner and outer slide bushings, all the O-rings you need to uh, completely overhaul the forks, both of them. This is a laner suspension seal bullet. Uh, protects the seal when you're installing it. You can also use a plastic bag. Install the dust seal. Oil seal, I like to use grease, inner and outer slide bushings, press in the uh, outer bushing, press in the oil seal, install the retaining clip. I use half of the seal driver to get the clip in. Press in the dust seal. This is my travel limiter spacer. This is what shortens the forks internally. I use aluminum. And I like to drill holes just to avoid any sort of starvation of the low-speed orifice. Uh, just allows the oil to circulate better. You can use Delrin, but the kit comes with aluminum. I like to add a few shims and an O-ring on the top just to avoid any metal-to-metal -metal contact when it's topped out. It's a nice rubber cushion. This is the cartridge seal head. Replace the DU bushing if necessary. In our case, it was necessary. I like to give the rods a nice polishing by attaching it to a drill and using Scotch-Brite. Now reassemble the cartridge and slide it into the fork. Install the base valve. At this point, I like to use the spring to push on the cartridge to install the base valve. Just makes it a little bit easier. Now we're going to use some Blood Racing Pro Series 10 weight oil. Pour it into the fork. I like to pour enough until it's about an inch and a half from the top. Now pump the rod up and down about 20 times. Our spec calls for a 130 millimeter air gap. This part is very important. Everybody messes this up. So what you want to do is you want to Take the rebound adjuster and go full soft, full counterclockwise. Then turn it clockwise in four full revolutions. That way you have four revolutions of range. When you screw the cap on to the rod, you should have a gap between the nut and the cap when it bottoms out. Tighten the cap. Now you are done. You've completed the project. Good job. Bounce on the forks to confirm everything feels good. Now install them on the bike. 